Hey, Shalom. Giving all glorification, honor, and praise in the Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, by Shemra Kakwadai. Double honors, as always, going out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders. Rule the church well. Salutations, peace, and blessings to the Ba'ath Shadawadai, the house of David the elect. I'm Shemar Moth, and a uh, real quick video, um, prophecy in short. Uh, and it's funny because this, this news came out yesterday. Yesterday being May 3rd, 2023, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. And, um, you know, you see it on the uh, on the screen here. Supposedly, there was an assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin. All right. Uh, they sent uh, the Ukraine sent um, drones to attack the uh, to attack the Kremlin. All right. And, um, you know, there's a lot of propaganda coming out, you know, so you kind of have to be discerning. With what you go on, with with what you with what you say is fact, all right, because it could be fiction, all right. But one thing's for sure that's not fiction is all right. This this war over there in the Ukraine, okay, between Russia, which is uh, that land today is, uh, or that that land, all right, in the ancient times that was the land of Gog and Magog. So them Russians, all right, is Gog and Magog. All right, what's going over going on over there today, all right, is uh. This Bible prophecy, all right, because the scriptures has a lot to say about what Gog and Magog is going to do, all right, uh, specifically to America, okay, when World War III gets hot and we are right on the doorstep of this thing escalating, okay, because if, even if this is so-called fake news and they in, in Ukraine is not behind this, which I believe, speaking as a man, I'm, I'm pretty sure the U.S. is behind it. OK, because just like the U.S. was behind the bombing, the blowing up of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline and the even cr creepy sleepy. OK, uh, you niggas hero. All right. He even he even came out and said he even admitted it. He said if 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 if, if they went through with that deal. All right. Germany and Russia went through, went through with that gas deal. OK, that they was going to blow that shit up. He actually said that in an interview. You probably could still find it on YouTube. So. If I had to wager a guess, I would say this is Babylon the Great. All right. And this is a false flag and they pinning it on the Ukraine. You know, that guy Zelensky over there. He's a small hatter. He, he's he's a so-called, you know, he's one of them, you know, J-O-O-Z. You know, he's he's according to the Bible, you know, them people is called the bastards who are dwelling at Ashdod. And that's in the Bible. That's Zechariah chapter nine and verse six. Those people don't belong over there, but he's a small hat. And the scriptures talks about. The least of the flock, which is them so-called Israelis, because they make up a very minimal a portion of the world's population. All right. That's why they call the least of the flock. All right. The it says the least of the flock is going to draw these nations into this third world's war. Anyway, um, I wanted to speak on this for just a second. I'm not going to uh, per se read. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and click on this one. All right. You see the headline, Western Mass News. Ukraine denies Russian claim Kiev. Kiev, it's like it, uh, sent drones to hit uh, Kremlin, all right? And, you know, you have all the uh, the bots over here, you know, on Twitter talking about, oh, this is Russian propaganda. You're a Russian agent if you're uh, pushing this out in the, in the media. And these people are out of their damn minds. Let me get a, let me get a scripture. Because, like I said, even if even if this is is not true. It still doesn't change the fact, all right, that this third world war is, is going to escalate. And the Bible talks about it coming quickly. All right. You got to understand Yahweh Basmiah Shah reckons time a whole lot different than we do. OK. In his eyes, you know, a day is, is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. So when when John the Revelator is writing the, 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 these revelations down on the Isle of Patmos, you know, slaving away in the Roman salt mines, you know, uh, when he said things like these things are coming quickly. Yeah, they, they, they are. Cause he wrote these things down 2000 years ago. So basically this happened, this was written down two days ago. As far as the Lord is concerned, as far as the Lord's like is concerned, I got a comment now, I'm a little bit excited. So let me, let me try to slow my cadence now. <laughs> All right, let's get some scriptures. Meanwhile, here it is, two-thirds of y'all, Negroes, <clears throat> Latinos, so-called, and Native American Indians, along with you speckled birds, y'all running around, you know, not knowing your ass from a hole in the ground, you know, thinking, you you know, 
life is just going to continue on status quo. You know, you out here willy nilly, you know, being demons, you know, uh, coming against the scriptures, you know, and not not believing in the Bible, not knowing prophecy, rejecting the word, you know, and, I, and that's why the, that's why the Lord is fixing to reject two thirds of his own people, man. Hey, two two thirds of, uh, uh, of you Israelites, man, you you, you going to die over here. All right. During this time, during the, during the time known in the Bible is Jacob's trouble. Revelation chapter. What is it? Eleven. And verse 14 and. You no, know, it's like it. All right. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 14, getting right to the point. The second woe was passed and behold, the third woe come quickly. The Bible talks about the, the three world wars, calls them woes. The word woe means destruction. So that then the second world war, millions and millions of uh, so-called Europeans. OK, died. I hate a lot of Jake fought in that uh, war as well. All right. A lot of Northern and Southern Kingdom fought, all right, in, in World War II and World War One, for that matter. All right, because Jake Jake has always been in Esau's army. You know, if you, you you read about Cornelius, Cornelius was what? Cornelius was a Roman centurion. Okay, but he was an Israelite, just like you have today. You in in this modern era, right? You have Jake all up in the military, and you you have Jake all up in these uh, you know in these on these police forces, right? You know. So, yeah, man, you know, side note. All right. So this. So, yeah, the scriptures talks about the third world is coming quickly. All right. It also talks about the day that's going to come that'll burn as an oven. Malachi. Let's see. Again, this ain't going to be long. Yeah. So a so-called foiled attempt on, on Vladimir Putin's life, you know. So it's getting serious. You know, and, and, and then, you know, when Russia, Russia went into the Ukraine last February. And they totally manhandling the Ukraine. Now, if you if you listen to the talking heads over here in the West, and specifically Babylon, you think the Ukraine has a fighting chance. They don't. That's why you, you, you people are simpletons, man. All right. Again, you two thirds. You know, the Bible says the simple believeth every word. You listen to these clowns in the mainstream media. You think the Ukraine has a fighting chance. Dang, uh, the, Russia has basically taken over a third of that whole country. And if they wanted to, they can end this thing tomorrow. OK, meanwhile, here it is. Your government is sending all this military aid and, and it's going directly into the pockets of the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers. All right. The, the international banking families. And you niggas don't got nothing to say about that. You know, you give creepy sleepy and that damn coon Mala Harris, you give them a pass. You 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 you, you wanted them to be y'all's leader, man. That just shows you how gone y'all are. And the only remedy that's left for y'all is death. And believe me, that's what's coming. You know? Um, yeah, uh, Malachi, right? All the prophets talked about World War III. The Bible says they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been, prophet. the prophets have been since the world began. If you read in, in, in Luke's, the first chapter, all right, and, and, and in Jude, it talks about the seventh from Adam. Enoch, he actually prophesied at the time we're in right now. Okay, the word uh, uh, prophesy means to say before. Okay, so Enoch was was back when the world began. He 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 was talking about the Lord coming back in the chariots, talking about these missiles that was going to be flying. All right, Malachi chapter four and verse one: For behold, a day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Right. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord, you have host that it shall leave them neither brute nor ranch. Right. Because all right, Esau over here in America, Edomites, all right, these so-called white people, they have no idea. They're getting ready to burn, man. They're they going to be destroyed. And right along with two thirds of of the Lord's own people and whatever heathens are remaining over here. You know, a lot of the heathens are fleeing back to their own countries. That's in that's in the, that's in the prophecies. Okay, they get they getting the hell out. All right, they getting the hell out of here. And it says that, and they said that would do so. Man, the Apostle Ramla brought that out the other day, and I can't remember. Man, let me see if I can find that. Whoever's left over here on the, in the, on the shores of, of America is going to perish. Okay, if the famine don't get you, all right, th this World War Three is going to get you. All right, if the sword don't get you, a pestilence is going to get you. 
All right. If 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 a pestilence don't get you, an earthquake's gonna get your ass. All right. So not everyone is gonna die by you know living to the end to, to see the news come, but a lot of, a lot of our souls are gonna be uh, left. All right. When the missiles come, <laughs> and the elect are gonna be delivered delivered through that hellfire, man. Okay. As them nukes is coming down, the elect are gonna be beamed up into the ships. That's why it says. The righteous shall scarcely be saved. All right. All right. Let me let me see if I can find this. Hold on. Yeah, these heathens are leaving, man. And he was making the point that a lot of these heathens that come over here to open up businesses, like a lot of these East Indians, so called, and a lot of these uh, Arabs, all right, so called, which they the Elamites and the Ishmaelites, a lot of them come over here. And have made a lot of money, all right, primarily off the backs of uh, uh, Jacob, all right. But now it's becoming cost prohibitive to run a business over here. They can go back to their own, own countries, right, and they can open up factories over there and have uh, uh, cheap labor costs, you know, and they can uh, uh, make their goods and, 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 and products uh, cheaper and have them shipped over here. All right, so that's why a lot of them are leaving. And that's true. Um, but ultimately, it boils down to that. That's, that's what the Lord said they would do. They would be leaving. Damn. Man, let's see. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Right. That's basically the, angel, the angels are talking shit. You know, hey, oh, we would have healed Babylon, but she's not healed. There's no healing for her, right? There's no balm in Gilead. There's nothing that could, could uh, uh, that can stop, all right, the, 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 this pain train that's coming, all right? There's no healing for this place, okay? This place is completely defiled, all right? And we've been warning you for years, beginning with the elder apostles on down, all right, the elder apostle, Great Millstone, right, to, to flee out of the midst of her, okay? Not, not meaning leave physically, but disconnecting from this bitch, okay? Because uh, you you have to uh, get away from her philosophies, okay, and her ideologies in a spiritual sense, okay? Because why? Because this place is going. It says will destroy you even with a sword of destruction. This place is polluted. All right. Look at what's going on with the youth, with 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 children, okay? With this government wanting to, uh, you know, turn little 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 boys into girls. And turn little girls into boys. And this, this place is completely out, out of here, man. You know? And if you have if you have <laughs> if you have the right mindset, every day you're pissed the fuck off. When you read articles, okay, or you you know, you watch videos and you see see what these people are trying to to forward throughout the earth. All right, this disgusting, you know, Mo agenda, this transformer agenda. I mean, this is the place. <sighs> Along with all the false religion this place pushes. Anyway, we would have healed Babylon, but she's not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. <laughs> all right. So the heathens thinking to go into their own countries. And and for the ones of you who stay over here, you're going to die. OK, so you don't want to go back. You you, you want to be a partaker with this horde to the end. You're going to perish. All right. It says for her judgment reacheth unto heaven. And is lifted up even to the skies. Right. Now, the Lord is remembering the sins of this place, man. This place called America. Her sins have reached into the heavenly realm. All right. And the Lord is remembering all the abomination and the wickedness, primarily touching the apple of his uh, eye. You know, I mean, because, you, you know, when, when uh, uh, Cristobal Colon came over here, all right, uh, who you people refer to as Christopher Columbus, right? When Cristobal Colon came over here, what did he do? He was looking for the northern kingdom. All right, the 10 northern tribes, he knew they was over here. Them devils used the Bible to figure out the, the, the lost tribes, the 10 lost tribes was over here. And what did he do? He came over here and put him in a, put him into slavery. All right, rape, rob, murder, right? And then, uh, you know, uh, 100, 200 years approximately later, you know, the southern kingdom was drug over here on cargo slave ships. So the Lord has a, a recompense. All right, what, you think you're just going to do 400, 500 years of wickedness? And ain't no uh, judgment coming for that. You don't know the Bible, man. Hey, the Lord says you reap what you sow. 
It says in Galatians, the sixth chapter and seventh verse, be not deceived, your house not mocked. For whatsoever a man uh, soweth, that shall he also reap. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Anyway, the heathen is leaving. Okay, then the nuke, the missiles is on their way. All right, so if, hey, if you, I'm, I'm going to end it there. I got a few more precepts, but that's the point. You know, this war is escalating. All right, tensions are increasing between the U.S. and China. All right, they're openly calling for war with China, which, again, China is going to be a major player as well. You know, you're going to have uh, – that's why it says a, an assembly of great nations because China, China – what what is it a billion plus so-called Chinese which is that's the land of Moab they got a massive army okay Russia got a massive army they got massive military they 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 military powerhouses man meanwhile over here in America they arguing whether or not you can be a, a tranny and be in the military or, or, or they they talking about women fighting on the front lines fuck out of here man all right who else Iran they got a massive army. Okay? The reason the reason you don't believe that is because again, you've you've believed that the the Western, you know, uh, talking heads, primarily these idiots over here in the mainstream media, they're telling you that these countries are backwards. Our, Iran is very advanced. Iran has a very advanced military. They have very advanced uh, military technologies. So does uh, uh, China. So does Russia. OK, hell, even these smaller countries, when you go into the book of Joel, when you go into the third chapter, it talks about let the weak say they are strong. Right. These these smaller countries have nuclear capabilities. <clears throat> it's all Bible prophecy, man. All right. So I just wanted to bring this. Oh, you know what? Nah, let's see. Oh, because uh, I had a dream. I read I was reading about this yesterday and I had a dream. I woke up this morning and I dreamt about doing this. So I wanted to touch on the scripture in the book of Job because, see, we get our instruction when we sleep. OK, it says that in the scriptures, Job chapter 33 and verse 14. For God, all right, Yahweh speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth, verse 16, the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. OK, you don't got free will. The Lord comes to you all right, in your dreams and seals up your instruction. OK, the Bible is clear on that. There is no free will. A man's goings, for example, are of the Lord. OK, how can then man understand his own way? Loosely paraphrasing. All right. We can make plans. We can plan to do this and plan to do that. But at the end of the day, it's the Lord's plans and purposes that are going to be fulfilled. That's why when we, if you made there's nothing wrong, there's, there's and not a damn thing wrong with there's not anything wrong with making with making plans. I mean, you know, just understand, you know, that, that you need to be saying, Lord willing, like Lord, like if you say I want to go because it says in the book of James. All right, if you say you, you, you want to go to this city or that city, you know, to sell your goods. All right, it says, you know, you know, Lord willing, we'll do that. Right. You might want to go, you know, visit your people this weekend. Hey, Lord willing, I'll see y'all Saturday afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Because it's at, at the end of the day, the most high, again, his purposes and his plans and his counsel is going to stand. All right. You don't control shit. You, you well, what you saying? We robots? Yeah, you are a robot. Either he programs you to do good or he programs you to do evil. Right. So that's all I got on that. Hey, Lord willing, he was edified through the spirit. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. With that, I want to say uh, shalom and it's on to the next video.